Is that where you live? I live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from okay. Charlotte. I just moved to Miami like four months ago. Okay. How, how old are you, honey? I am 30. 30. Okay. 30. What you do for a living? So I am a serial entrepreneur. Um, I'm a real estate agent. I have been in machines and I also have a um, event space that I run out. <clears throat> real estate agents, vending machines, and what else? I have an event venue um, back in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm from, that I run out for like parties and different things like that. So Hold on. My spidey senses are tingling, folks. And we all know women like her. She said, mm -hmm. I'm a real estate, I got vending machines, and I got an event space. AKA, mm -hmm. she has been sponsored by one or several men. One thing about this, y'all got to understand, man, a woman like her will take your resources, which granted, if you got resources to spend, they say it ain't tricking if you got it, right? So there you go. she'll take your money and start starting businesses with other men's money. All right, I'm a realtor, just playing and joking with that. I got vending machines. I got a party space. Come on now. All that. I'm so happy you cleared that up. Yeah, let's not get it misconstrued. It don't work that way. Ain't ain't too many people, men, women that's just getting it out the mud, out of just getting getting it out of nothing from nothing. No, no help from no man. It don't work like that. Yeah, so here we go. She's a serial entrepreneur. She most likely got orbiters. Of different categories and degrees. Here we go. Get back into it. Yeah, so Mercedes, yeah. Miami. She's real estate vending machine. Oh, she's an entrepreneur. Sorry, do you have any kids? I don't have any kids. No. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Pisces, March second. All right, let's do it. Mercedes, Miami, entrepreneur, real estate, um, vending machines. No kids. Thirty. Pisces. What kind of man are you looking for? I I feel like I don't ask for too much. I feel like I'm looking for a man that is God-fearing, that is stable, um, that's responsible, um, that has some kind of financial uh, maturity. Um, yeah, someone who cares, that takes care of themselves. So um, hopefully you work out, you eat well, you know, you take care of your skin, your hygiene. Um, if you uh, have any kids or anything like that, you know, you take care of them, you're in their life daily. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, someone that's honest, God-fearing, and just like a man, a provider. I am dating with intention, so I do expect to get married one day, hopefully. So just someone who's straight up, like, you know, tell me the truth and let me make the decision whether or not I want to move forward with that, you know, and like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Deal breakers would be uh, anything, well, any drugs outside of marijuana, excessive drinking, excessive like porn watching, um, someone who doesn't know how to communicate or um, isn't, how can I put it? Like, they don't know how to control their emotions. So someone who gets who angers easily or just, you know, out just act crazy all the time or something. So uh she's saying a lot, but she said absolutely nothing. Yeah. And the problem with these chicks is the soul ties, they be dealing with so many men over the years that they develop a list of red flags, right? And that's why we say you're better off dating younger so you ain't so far scorned by this age. And you got so many red flags that a man, if he blinks twice, he was like, no, nah, because I remember the last guy. Blinked so, twice, and they, every time he would blink twice, he would cheat, you know, <laughs> and, and they be they just be torn. There you oh. go. Yes. Traumatized, you know, traumatized with soul ties, can't pair bond. And you said it perfectly. Be the littlest things. The new man come in. Tying his shoes, tying the right shoe before he tied the left shoe and she having conniptions. She's like, see, I don't like that because Jerome, like you said, every time he would tie that shoe first, he wouldn't come home that night. <laughs> yeah, they imprinted on. And I want to see the Kendra cam. We're going to check her IG out too here real quick. Ooh, yeah, stand this up, sis. This is a Miami shorty. This is a city girl for reals, for reals. 
You just moved here four months ago, she said. So, like the other woman, they ain't got no kids and they they bosses, right? Yeah. Serial entrepreneurs. Y'all end up like Nene. Y'all keep playing. Ooh, Come. there it is. Here we go. What else is a deal breaker? Uh, gambling. I mean, a, a bad gambler. So, like, if you're gambling all the time or if you don't have any, like, kind of, you know, you don't know how to take care of your money kind of thing. So, those are all, like, red flags for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about us? You have to look a certain way. He definitely has to be taller than me. I don't want to like be looking eye to eye with you. Um, I don't really have a like specific height, but as long as like I can look up to you, um, I will prefer that he you? works. Huh? How tall are you? I'm five three. Girl, okay, so it's five six. Is that too short? No, that's not too short. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. You know, I mean, it's not too short. It's not too short. Okay. As long as he's taller than me, I can I can make it work. Okay. Um. I would prefer someone that works out because I work out. So I feel like that'll be something that we can have in common, especially on the taking care of ourselves part. Um, definitely would like a black man, a big black strong man. Uh, yeah, that's that's really, you know, it. nice skin, you know, good hygiene, stuff like that. You know? All right. So does he have to make a certain amount of money? I would say, it's less about the amount that he makes and more so about his, um, like I said, his financial maturity. Because I feel like someone who makes like $60,000 a year could live a better life than someone that makes $100,000 a year because maybe they don't have any kids or maybe they don't have, you know, a high car payment or house payment or credit card debt. So it's not about how much they make, more so their lifestyle and, you know, their their financial responsibility and maturity like you know because you can make a certain amount of money and still live a comfortable life she's still talking i had walked away for a second <laughs> uh -huh. if beating around the bush was a person holy guacamole man <laughs> she up here like well you know I really can't put a number to it because if he financially stable, 50K can be the equivalent to 100K. You know, if he don't have a high car payment and this and that and womp, womp, womp and redfish, bluefish, please stop the cap and say the number. <laughs> stop. I'll just tune her out. I'm waiting for her to stand up at this point. I ain't even listening. <laughs> For real? I said, man, she's still talking. Here we go. Stand up, sister. <laughs> and that amount can be small to someone, but to you, you're fine because you're, you know, you're good. So I wouldn't say a certain amount of money it is a lifestyle, though. I like to travel. I like to go out. I like to eat. I like to, you know, do different things. So just be in the position to court, I would say. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam Mercedes. <laughs> Do you drive a Mercedes? No, not yet. I'm about to get one though. Okay. Okay, we see the body. Ooh, we see. There we go. I don't think this is doing its justice. I just took a peek at that IG. The IG is IGing, if you will. Uh, I can't no more. You know, it just the the nigga tree that entered the room. Kendra actually asked this woman, you know, hey, your name Mercedes. Did you drive a Mercedes? And she said, no, but I'm about to get one. Don't worry, Kendra. I'm going to fulfill the prophecy. You don't have to worry. Yes, I shall spend my last dime buying a car I could barely afford. You know, out here in Miami. Don't worry. I'm going to fulfill a ghetto prophecy. Don't you fret, sister. Your dress matches my wig. <laughs> oh, help me, Lord. Body, yaddy, 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 I yaddy, like right. your hair. I, I hate it all. That, uh, the last caller said, name her Fire. Fire. I think I like strawberry for some reason, but we don't know. We're going to just see. Um, I'm feeling that, strawberry. I'm feeling a cherry, like maybe. Like cherry. Blackberry. Okay. Black, I, I don't like know. Fire, though. But I like that, though. Fire. Fire, fire. That's what the last caller gave. Shout out to Tayo, who said, name her Fire. Okay, back to you, Mercedes. What was your last relationship? 
my last serious relationship was maybe like four years ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Pass. <laughs> um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I would say being 30, some flaws that I will have right now is that um, sometimes I can be like a hopeless romantic. So like I look for, you know, um, someone that's spontaneous or I, I feel like I give chances to people that really don't deserve them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I just see the good in everybody. Um, especially like if I'm dating you, like if it's a good first impression, like I try to hold on to that, kind of give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, I try not to like judge a book spot, uh, judge a book by its cover, but sometimes that can kind of be me like ignoring red flags. Um, another flaw would be um, sometimes I can come off as nonchalant, which can kind of seem like I really don't care about certain things. But my thing is like, if it's not that big of a deal, let's not make it that big of a deal. Like, let's agree to disagree. And um, some people can take that as like, oh, you're not, you're not, it's not that serious to you. But even though it is, I just don't, you know, think it should be that big of a deal. Okay. Mercedes, what's your age range? I would say like 28 to 40. Mm, yeah, 28 to 40. I've dated older than 40 before, but so I, mm, I don't want to say 45 because I feel like that's a little too old, but so I'll, I'm going to keep it at 40, 28 40. to 40. Yeah. 28 to 40. Red flag. You're, you're going to say 45. You 30 years old. You should not be dating anybody in their 20s. 45 and up at this there point. Go. There Sick. you go. And the, and the chat don't believe that she 30. The, ch the chat said 30, at least 35. <laughs> that mug is strong. It's giving 35. Yeah. But... She got some. She obviously got something going for her. She got enough sponsors to have her you know, studios and be serial entrepreneuring it up. So she got something going for her. I was, I thought she was landing her plane. Give her 30 seconds. So I want to check this IG out. Here we go. And, um, could he have kids? I would prefer that he don't have kids, but if he does, it's not a deal breaker. Because I feel like um, I'm okay with not having kids. But if my husband wants kids, I don't mind having kids if my husband wants kids. So my thing is, like, with me not having kids and not, you know, be, with me being okay with not having kids, he can have kids if he, you know, if that's what he wants or whatever. And, we, you know, we can decide on not having kids because he already got some. But, I mean, it could go either way for me. I don't mind way. having kids, though. I, I love kids. I love kids. But I feel like if you do have kids, I have to see that relationship because I feel like that will show the kind of man that you are. So if you have kids, you have to be an active father. Like, it's no weekend, like, every other weekend or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be active in their lives. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and then, Mercedes, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Well, um, a guy would be lucky to be with me because I'm very ambitious. I feel like I'm over it. Like, come on. Oh, yeah, me and Mr. Walker got to hit the skip button on this yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Holy cow. Listen here, man. A broken record. Oh, the bird, 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 bird is the word. I, I ain't want to throw insults like that, but man. That's getting painful. Please be quiet, woman. Please just stop. Oh, I tell you what, this IG is promising. I'm not <laughs> I do that. All right, here we go. Yeah, this IG is promising. It's so promising. after all that talking, here I guess go. it was worth it, folks. Oh, she don't own no boat. She's just out there on somebody's on yeah. somebody's yacht. Uh -huh. Yeah, she said yeah. yacht life. That's, yeah, she on somebody's. All that. She definitely got something going on. Ain't no doubt about that. She talked too much. So she ain't got no kids. She talked way too much. She got a funny Oopa Loopa built kind of, but like her shoulders in her head, but 
Can't be too picky, <laughs> fellas. We can't, you know what I mean? But she's talking too much for me. Yeah. I that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what she won't? You know, it kind of, it. you see the attention she getting. You get what you signed up for. Yeah. Ain't not impressed. Not impressed, city girl. And enjoy the journey as long as you can do it. We see what happens to sisters like this that want to keep being out here living a city girl life, playing and joking, joking and playing. When they hit that wall and they start singing the song of the dove, <laughs> of the of the city girl dove. She ain't never got no bra on. She got them tick old bitties. She built like sis. She got it is what it is. I don't know how women like this is 30 and single. Y'all got to make it make sense. Huh. It just What's, you know, I shout out to my guy Anton Daniels. He was saying it the one time. He asked the women on the panel, he said, A lot of y'all have met your husband already and blew it. And they was like, Yeah. So, you know, it's just over. You don't get too many shots. <laughs> he met you up, said, I could fix her. <laughs> I know that's right, brother. <laughs> there you go. I, can yeah, I don't fix think it. she's completely broken. Yeah, I don't think she definitely in the top percentile of women come on the show. But like I said, she's gonna take a special kind of man. Yeah. There you go. It really is. She ain't got no kids. She's 30. Let's take it at fate. Let's 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 say she's not lying. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, let's be clear. Okay, I'm I'm slacking. My apologies. This Kendra top five. <laughs> <laughs> this top five right here. Yes, full show. Top five. Top five. Yeah, there y'all go, fellas. Uh, she definitely put some weight on. As you can see, the further we go back, she was slim. So you go back a couple of years. I told you the pandemic, man, it did a number on y'all. Yes, it For the did. worse. The pandemic was not kind to y'all. Yeah. So there you go. That's her, all her glory. I look, hop in her DM. Her IG is Holmes B. Holmes B. Mercedes. So millennial investor lifestyle. No, why is it no? What she do? Is she blowed out? Y'all saying she blowed out? Goodness gracious. I, I don't know about blowed out, you know. Oh, she ain't blowed out. Y'all now no. come on. Yeah, it well, be critical, but yeah, she ain't blow y'all better. See, there we go. Stop that. If one hundred percent of single men, if y'all down there in the bar with her in Miami and y'all vibing, a couple drinks, y'all can stop. Y'all trying to y'all trying to go to Pound Town with with, with a vengeance. So y'all need to stop it. <laughs> yeah. So. For me, outside of her talking too much and her occupations, like you said, you're going to have to be a resourceful man. You can't be like no working guy, no Amazon, nine to five. This ain't going to work for you. You got to be an entrepreneur. You got to be on your purpose, you know, or you're going to get served a black pill. So other than that, she definitely ain't getting the band. So we're going to move off of her for sure. There we go. God's yeah. speed, sister. Yeah, she don't get the band. She don't get the sub. None of that. Yeah, that. Somebody most likely gonna mess around and find out. Yeah, that's Lady of the Night, Don Allen. Lady of the Night, top five, damn near top three. <laughs> Here we go.